All right, guys, welcome to today's yoga. My name's Nikki, for those who don't know me, and since last week, people really like our kind of Ashtanga inspired flow. I'm gonna continue with that just for today so we can get some of the poses that we missed in. We'll still be doing those Suri Namaskar A's and B's at the beginning. We'll do some of the other poses that um, help get us a little deeper and there's definitely a little more balance today. So when you're ready, slowly make yourself up, sitting up and we're gonna turn ourselves over into a nice tabletop position. We'll just do a little warm-up for the spine as we take a nice big inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone as we sink the chest down. Exhale, tucking the chin, puffing up the spine as we press through the hands. Just giving a few more of these. Good. Let's do one more of each. back in a nice neutral spine. We're going to curl the toes under and lift the hips up here. We're going to start just by walking up that dog. Pressing down alternating foot. Bending the knee. Just walking it out. Really getting nice and deep in those calves. Lifting the feet up. So you press them to the toes. Again, stretching out the bottom of the feet. Should feel good and relaxed and then we're going to come to some stillness here so let's just focus on our downward dog giving me those five nice breaths here focusing on pulling the heels down as we lift the tailbone to the sky helping stretch out the back of the legs pressing all our fingertips and toe tips into the mat creating a little grip and keeping those quads engaged to help release those hamstrings. Just give me one more big breath here. Good, we're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna hop or walk our feet to our hands. So we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, softly. So we inhale, sweep the arms up, come to rise. Palms come together. Exhaling through heart center and release here just for Tadasana. Let's work on engaging our Ujjayi breath here. Just inhaling and exhaling through our nose. As we exhale, we create that constriction in the throat, that ocean-like auditory, that sound, helping build the fire within. So you may want a strap or a block handy. I just have them both at the top of my mat, just in case. Let's do our first Suri Namaskar A. Nice, slow, and modified here. As we inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhaling, folding over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release the hands. Inhaling, stepping back to plank, drop to the knees. Exhaling, lowering all the way to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, just lift up, dog and cobra. Exhaling, coming down. Inhale, pressing up through tabletop. And then curl the toes under as we exhale, downward dog. Remember, you can always modify and do that variation. One more big breath here. Good, we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna hop or step our feet to our hands. So we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Softening as we inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhale through heart center. And release. We're going to do our second one a little quicker without the modification, but feel free to modify if you'd like. As we inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands, step it back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhaling, we press up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Just hold this for two breaths. We normally would hold for five, but we don't have the luxury of time today. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna hop or step our feet to our hands. As we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over, soften the knees. As we inhale, sweep the arms up, palms come together. 
exhale through heart center and release. This is gonna become like the back of your hand here. So let's add in the Surya Namaskar Bs or those warrior ones. Let's take the first one slow. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, folding over. Hopefully you're feeling warm. Inhale, flat back, hands to shin. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Good for your triceps here, so keep a long spine. Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, plant it between your hands. This is the part we're taking slow. Pivot the back foot 45 degrees as we inhale, open warrior one. Exhale, come down. Step it back, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, plant the hand between the feet. Pivot the back foot 45 degrees. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Lift the back heel, step it back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up, dog. Or baby cobra. Exhaling down, dog. We'll hold this for two breaths to make sure everybody's caught up. One more big breath here. Slow it down. Keep the breath slow. Good. Bend the knees. Hop or step the feet to the hands. As we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Soft knees as we inhale. Sweep the arms, come to rise. Palms come together. Exhale through heart center. <coughs> Good, release the hands. All right, we're gonna do that a little quicker and we're gonna have another little flow with our chaturangas. So let's do this. Go at your own breath pace. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhaling, folding over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stand over, plant the feet into plank. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot through as we inhale, come to warrior one. That's the quick part. Really slow that breath pace down as we exhale, plant the hands, step it back, plank. Lowering down through chaturanga. Inhaling up, dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Left foot comes front, right foot pivots as we inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, coming down. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale up, lifting the chin. Exhaling, downward dog. Two breaths here, so we're all together. Even though usually it's five, noting that those flows really help build the heat and our heartbeat while we slow down in these down dogs. When you're ready, bend the knees. You're going to hop or step the feet to the hands. As we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over, soften the knees. As we inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhale, with your heart center. And release. Good. So, like I said, I've got all my stuff at the top of the mat. I'm going to take my, my block here just in case. Because we've got our, our warrior three. My balance is a little meh. So we're going to start from the top of our mat. I'm going to step my left foot back 45 degrees, lunging into the right leg as I inhale the arms up, warrior one. So, sink deeper. so this is where we're going to hold the poses just a little longer. So focusing on length here with the arms, pressing through the outside edge of that left foot, and our gaze just in front of us, nice and soft. Finding that ujjayi breath if you've lost it. Good. One more breath here, lunge a little deeper. Good. I'm going to lift up that back left heel. You keep your hands here as I step into the right leg, straightening it, tilting forward into warrior three. <sighs> I've got my block here, just in case for balance. You can also bring your hands by your side in airplane mode. I find that helps with my balance a little bit. lift that back leg so it's in line with the torso shoulders are pulled back in the socket that's it core is tight right knee is soft one 
one more big breath here. Think long thoughts. Good. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Drop the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Soften the knees as we inhale. Sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhaling through heart center. Releasing the palms. So I'm going to step the right foot back to warrior one. 45 degrees. Lunging to the left legs. Left leg. Arm comes up. Hips face forward. Grounded down through your toes. You know you've got some balance coming up. Focusing on strong legs here. Maybe sinking a little deeper into that left leg lunge if you can. Enjoying the breath. Enjoying some stillness. Making sure your chest is facing forward. Give me one more big breath here. Good. Lifting up the back right heel into a lunge. I'm going to step it forward. So you get all the way at my left leg, tilting over into warrior three. Tucking that right hip under, internally rotating so it stays facing the ground. Keep your arms in warrior one arms or airplane mode. Whatever serves your body here. Trying to balance as much as you can. Engage that core. Squeeze the standing quad. Help support you. It's okay if one side's better than the other. It's natural. Just let it happen. If you fall out of the pose, just rejoin us. One more big breath here. Good. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Fold over. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold over. Soften the knees as we inhale. Sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhale through heart center. You notice today we're taking all our poses from standing. Instead of downward dog, this is actually very traditional. Ashtanga. Just a little change for us. So this time let's take the left foot back into warrior two, pivoting on four or 90 degrees so it's facing the left, lunging into the right, and their hands are coming up into warrior two. This time we can let the hips open up. Exhale, sink deeper. Tucking the hips under, so especially if you're feeling that left hip flexor. Try to bring that right thigh to parallel. Arm up. Our dristy or our gaze comes to the right middle fingers. We soften and focus. One more big breath here. Lunge a little deeper if you can. Good. Let's bring the hands to the hips, straighten the right leg, flip the toes to face the left side, going into a Wide forward fold B. Hands stay on the hips. Nice big inhale up. Exhale, folding over. Keep the hands here. Softening the knees. Try to put a little weight in the toes without falling forward. Last time we started with the hands on the ground just to give you a little sense of balance. But keep those hands on the hips. Pulling the shoulder blades down and back so they're not drooping at all here. Maybe squeezing those quads so the hamstrings release. Or maybe you're just pressing deep into the ground with those feet to really give the inside of the thighs a little love. Good. One more big breath here. Inhale. Halfway lift, nice flat back, soften the knees. As we exhale, come to rise. Let's come to a nice lunge. So pivot the right toes to face the right, lifting the left heel. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, folding over the right leg, step the left foot forward to a nice forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, soften the knees. As we inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhale through heart center. I'm just going to stay at the top of my mat so you don't have to see my tush. 
This time, release the hands. I'm gonna keep the left leg of the foot. I'm gonna step back with the right foot into warrior two, toes face the right side. Lunging here into the left leg. Keeping the arms strong, reaching the fingers apart. Breathing nice, deep, slow breaths here. It's okay if you're not quite moving with me, just means your breath pace is slightly different and that's okay. Let that be your guide, your focus for your movement. Lifting that right arm up if it's sagging at all. Good, pressing to the outside of that right foot this time. Keeping the right leg nice and strong. Give me one more big breath here. Good, hands to the hips, straighten the left leg, flip the toes to face the right. This time we're gonna fold forward. You're gonna let your hands trace to the outside edge of your foot or your legs all the way down as far as you can go. If you can grab your feet, you're gonna grab your two big toes or your big toes with your two pieces fingers here for our forward fold D. So if you've got your toes, you're pressing your toes into your fingers and just using your fingers to pull up a little bit without actually leaving the ground, just creating a little pressure. If you've got more flexibility in space, your elbows can start pointing away from each other to the, either side of your mat. Again, keeping some pressure in the toes so you're getting a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings. Doing this nice passive forward fold almost. Letting our muscles just release here. One more big breath. Good. If you've got your toes released, bring the outside edge of your ankles this time. As you inhale, halfway lift, bring the hands up to your knees, soften the knees. As we exhale, come all the way up. Let's pivot the left toes forward and come into a nice lunge as we lift the right heel up. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhaling, folding over that left foot, step the foot through to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Optional flow here. So we're coming down. Knees are soft. We're going to step it back into a plank as we inhale. Exhale, coming down. Remember, you can modify. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhaling downward dog. Let's hold for three breaths this time. Nice slow breath, slow it down. Last breath here. We're gonna complete our little flow here. So bend your knees, you're gonna hop or step the feet to the hands. So we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over, soften the knees. As we inhale, come to rise, sweep the arms up. Arms come together. Exhaling through heart center. And release. Let's grab a drink of water. And if you've got a strap, you may want to grab that. If you've got bad balance, you may want to be near a wall. Let's do a little balance series. I'll warn you, if you're going to be near a wall, you're going to want it on your left side. For the first one. So we're going to do our Pada Hasta Angustas A, B, and C. We've done these a few times. It's just pulling your leg out, side, back in. I'm going to use my strap today. A lot of times when we aren't using our strap, we're overreaching, so the strap helps keep that shoulder in. So today I'm going to use my strap. I'm going to start with my right leg, so I'm going to soften the left leg. If you don't have a strap, you can always just modify with the knee. So let's all start by inhaling, lifting the right leg up. You can stay here, you can grab your toe with your two piece fingers, or you can use your strap to straighten out your leg. Good, so focus on something that's not moving, so maybe not me. We've got Ryan here. <laughs> it's also, it is definitely hard. Oh, he's waving now. To focus, I know, on balance when there's something moving. A challenge for my life, I am working on. So focus on standing tall here, maybe pulling that shoulder and hip back into their sockets. Maybe one more big breath here. And then either bend or straight leg, we're gonna take our 
right leg out to the right side. Left hand can come out to the opposite side or stay on your hip. And if you've got the balance, you can look towards that left hand. So not a modification here, that's okay. Core is nice and tight, guys. Pressing down through all our left toes. It's a lot on that left supporting leg, I know. Don't worry. Last breath here. Good. Everybody inhale, bring their leg back in. Get rid of your strap in your hand. Everybody straighten your leg and just hold it up. So this is for five breaths. So really slow it down because we're doing my breath pace, so it doesn't matter. It's okay if you notice your leg starts to dip down. Try not to overcompensate though. That was me almost falling out. Really should feel this in the hip flexor, but keep the core engaged. breath here. Good. Release that leg. Give it a little shake out. Give the supporting leg. My leg obviously got really low there too. That's okay. All right. Second side. This time my right leg is soft and supported. As you inhale, lift the left knee up. If you need something for balance, have it on the right side this time. You can modify with your knee, grab your big toes, or I'm going to use my strap here. Tight foot is flexed. This is just forward and soft. I promise next week we'll have a nice gentle practice. Ryan laughed at that. Breathing deep, slow breaths here. Lengthening up in the crown of the head. One more big breath, just like this. Open the left leg up to the left side, opening up the hips. Right hand can come out to the right side or keep on the hip. Remember, you can always modify if you like here and bend the knee. Trying to stay nice and tall. You find your ankles are really wobbling. Really focus on pressing in through the toes. This is my, my weak spot here with my ankles. So I'm going to try and ground down. Release the strap, straighten the leg if it's bent. Hands can come to the hips. Just breathe here and try and find your hips evenly balanced here. Not over hiking the left or right. Squeezing the quads to help lift that leg. This is probably one of the harder poses, I promise. Two more breaths, guys. You got it. Last one. Good. Release that leg back down. Give it a shake out. We're going to do one full flow standing to standing. And then we will get to the ground. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhaling, folding over. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel free to modify. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, step it towards plank. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Elbows are tight. Inhale, really lengthen out on your up dog or cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Three breaths. Bend the knees. We're going to hop our step, our feet to our hands. So we inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Shoulders are strong. Exhaling, folding over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over again. Soften the knees as we inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms come together. Exhaling through heart center. I'm just going to turn to face you. So, 
we are going to do a nice molasses. So I, I'm just going to envision how wide my mat is. So bring your feet mat width apart. I like to point my toes out a little bit. Take a nice big inhale, swing the arms up. Keeping the heels on the ground, I'm going to exhale, sink the hips down. So just come down as far as you can. If you're up here, that's okay. The goal is to keep the heels on the ground. If you want to go deeper, you can bring the palms together. I'm just going to turn to face this way now. So this is just uh, another option. So you can stay here, or if you want to go deeper, I'm going to start to lift my left foot up. I'm going to slide my hand underneath it so my palm is down. Heel to wrist. I'm going to lift my right foot up and do the same thing. All right, I'm just straightening my arms here, pressing them through the ground. This is as far as I'm going to go today. This is like prep for titty basana. This is a nice stretch. My arms are actually putting pressure on my inner thighs. Remember, this is just an option. You can just stay in regular melasana. One more big breath here. Good. One at a time, lift your hands up. If you're really low like me, you can use your core and you can roll down onto your tush. If not, just come down onto your tush however is comfortable. I'm just going to again face you, but you can face along into your mat or your camera as we flex our toes. Maybe give me a nice big inhale here. Exhale, fold over. And I'm going to grab my toes as an option, or you can grab the balls of your feet. I like to go around the sides and I kind of forces my feet to pronate and gives a little extra stretch in the calves and the peroneal uh, muscles, not nerves. <sighs> That's okay. If you can't grab your feet, grab your calves or wherever is accessible to you. Good. One more big breath here. leg where it is. I'm going to bend the right knee, bring it as close as I can, and then let the leg fall open. So I'm in almost like a tree pose, but this is our Jang Yusur Sasana. We're going to do A and B today. B is just an option.
breath in the A. So I'm just going to move my right leg to see. So I'm going to point my left toes and let my ankle kind of roll so as much of the top foot is on the mat so my heel is up. I'm going to use my hands to lift my tush up and place it right on that foot. Again, even if the other side was okay for you to sit on, this one's not, go back to the A or just focus on putting a little weight as you use your hands to support.
more breaths here. Really keep it nice and slow if you can. Last one. Slowly release all that air out. No matter what variation you are, you're gonna first tuck the head up. If you've got your arms out, bring them back so your forearms are supported. 